Maxell, the world's only patented flexible fabric interduct system for data, communication, and power cables. Maxell will greatly increase your cable density in any size conduit. You paid for your conduit space. Now maximize its use. This is our recommended technique to prepare Maxell for pulling into your conduit structure. First, cut a two to three inch slit just below the sewn seam, 12 to 18 inches from the end. Next, pull out 12 to 18 inches of the pull tapes from the end of the Maxell through the slit and cut them off. This will allow the pull tapes to float behind your pulling grip when pulling in Maxell. Now that your pull tapes are cut back, this is how to make a Maxell pulling harness with scrap pull tape or rope. First, tie the rope or tape to the slit area. Then make four to five half hitches to form your grip on the end of Maxell. Once you get to the end, tape the header using vinyl electrical tape. Make sure the pull tapes are free floating behind the grip. The most important tool to make your Maxell installation a success is a ball bearing swivel. A ball bearing swivel must always be used between the pull tape or rope and Maxell. This keeps the Maxell from twisting. Using a bowline knot, attach the existing pull tape from the rigid conduit to the other end of the swivel. Remember to tape all knots. When pulling in Maxell, designers should make every effort to conform to industry standards with regard to distances between any two pull points, number of bends between any two pull points, and proofing of conduit pathway using appropriately sized mandrels. Here, the pull tape is being mechanically pulled by the pulling machine or tugger. If you are not ready to pull cable after installing Maxell, you can do some housekeeping to keep your extra lengths of Maxell from hanging freely in your maintenance hole. Pull the Maxell up, fold it back, and tie wrap it close to the conduit opening. This will keep it from getting muddy or stepped on. When you are ready to pull cable, you'll need to tie off your Maxell on the end your cable will be entering. This will prevent any possible Maxell movement during the cable pull. This can be done by putting a one inch slit in your Maxell edge just inside the color thread seam, 12 to 18 inches from the end. Then take a rope or pull tape and tie off the Maxell to something convenient, which can be permanent or temporary. When installing your first cable into Maxell, we suggest using the center cell. Install additional cables in either cell next to the center cell. Repeat this procedure when multiple Maxell packs are installed. We suggest in all pulls, even though Maxell is pre-lubricated, to apply lubricant to your cable. It will always help ensure that your cable will pull more easily. All lubricants need to be cable pulling type lubricants. Never use organic based greases or oils. Silicone type cable lubricants are recommended. 
When installing detectable max out, do not tie a half hitch onto the copper wire. The wire must be free floating behind the half hitch. After the installation of detectable max cell, expose two to three feet of the copper wire. Tie off max cell to a permanent fixture, such as a pulling eye, on both ends of the maintenance hole. Clip the tone locator on the copper wire in the max cell in order to add tone. Ground the copper wire at the other end of the max cell. Use a commercially available locator and follow the manufacturer's operating instructions. To place Maxell with a rotter, always place the rotting paddle or spider over top of the existing cable in the inner duct. Detach the paddle or spider, connecting the Maxell to the clevis. You can now pull Maxell in. After cables are installed, cut off excessive max cell. Tie max cell off to a structure close by and push the max cell back into the conduit, allowing easy access to max cell at a later time. You can then seal the conduit by using a max bag. Foaming. or by using reusable termination bags. Reusable termination bags can be used up to four times. Simply open the Schrader valve and release the pressure. A ball bearing swivel must always be used between the pull rope and max cell. Failure to do so may result in pull rope or tape inducing a twist causing the max cell to twist excessively and may make it difficult to pull cable. Pull tapes should always be cut back behind the slit made during the installation so that they float during the placement of max cell. Check the pull tapes after pulling in max cell before cutting the max cell off. The pull tapes will float back a short distance during max cell installation. Tie off max cell before pulling the first cable in the pack. It is always better to lubricate cable during the pull. Max cell, an innovative flexible fabric interduct system. If you want your money's worth out of a conduit system, Maxell is the answer.